lot of uh, debuters in here. Travis Cullen, Jody Cullen. We've got Tim Twaddle, as we know, Jay Honkstetler and Jake Lehman all making their Breeders' Crown debut. It's going to be a good one. Three-year-old Colt and Gelding Pace presented by the Libfeld Cats Breeding Partnership. Ken, it's Breeders' Crown final race number seven up next. Yep, the Glamour Boy tilt. Here it is by the missile, the supplemental horse at four to five. Chris Page with that Ron Burke trainee dazzling in last week's elimination. He's the hot horse coming in, riding a five-race winning streak, seven to five on Pebble Beach. The North America Cup champ, he too has found form again late in the season. He's been ultra consistent all year. Ponda Warrior, eight to one. Could be the fly in the ointment here tonight. Good body language for him coming in behind the gate. We've got a group of ten. It's the Breeders' Crown, three-year-old Colt Pace on deck. They're off and pacing. Greatest ending launching out of there. Ponda Warriors going to leave out too. Coming out in the center, there's Pebble Beach and Captain Cowboy surging too. Ponda Warrior accelerates right to the front from post eight. Greatest ending on the outside, leaving hard as Jingra looks for that pocket drop. Inside third to Pebble Beach. Dropped over fourth is Captain Cowboy. Then inside, I did it my way. Towards the rail is birthday. Further back, we go to buy the missile. In at the rail, Dream Fair. Arnie B, Forever Boy, rides parked out ninth. Trailing tenth is Mad Max Hanover. Zeron cut a quarter and 25 and 4, a vicious first split. Ponda Warrior on top leads the way. In the pocket spot, greatest ending. Pebble Beach on the outside, lurking third, now second and coming on to challenge. In at the rail, it's Captain Cowboy fourth. I did it my way. Pops out first up now from fifth. Climbing on his covers, birthday sixth. Seventh through at the rail, that is Dream Fair. Arnie B by the missile is back there from an eighth. Halftime, 54 and 1. The tempo was hot going into the far turn, and it's Pebble Beach up front leading the way a length and a half back into second is Ponda Warrior first over is I did it my way from in third greatest ending fourth with cover fifth is birthday sixth inside to Captain Cowboy seventh and up on the move comes by the missile he's still six off the lead as they go to three quarters Pebble Beach trying to get separation in the field and he's got three on pocket sitter Ponda Warrior I did it my way not doing enough first over three quarters in 121 and two and into the stretch and it's Pebble Beach on top the lead four lengths full Fully extended Ponda Warrior. I did it my way from in third. By the missile from the backfields. Not tonight. They're in deep stretch. And it's all Pebble Beach. Pebble Beach bounds away to a six-length lead in deep stretch. And Pebble Beach has destroyed this field. Pebble Beach to win by four. Up for second was I did it my way by the missile in greatest ending. And a mile of 148 and one. And he just missed the stakes record did Pebble Beach in winning his Breeders' Crown. Well, we were here celebrating uh, just a few months ago in this winter circle, a Pepsi North America Cup championship. Now it's a Breeders' Crown title for Pebble Beach. What a season he's had. And he really seems to love the Canadian air, uh, Todd, and this particular track. No, he does very well up here. You know, he's uh, he, he feels happy when I sit behind him, and he uh, he shows it when he races as well. So, uh, no, he was he was certainly very impressive tonight. You've made an immediate splash since joining the North American driver colony. How does it feel now to be uh, on the board in the Breeders' Crown competition and uh, now looking to try and just add to that? Uh, I, I still pinch myself, you know what I mean? It's, um, it's, it's just been a dream come true since making the, making the move over. And, uh, you know, I got, I got people like this to thank for it. Um, you know, fantastic syndicates of owners and, and trainers like Noel here that have uh, been willing to give me a shot since I've arrived. And uh, like I said, it's a dream come true. Congratulations. Still a couple of races to go for you. Thank you very much. Uh, Noel, we'll bring you back in. Uh, we talked to you just before the race. One thing I didn't ask you was about the uh, the shoeing change prior to tonight uh, off of a win last time. What was that about? Uh, we just, you know, it, they're, they're usually better if they have the aluminums on. I actually, the last time he raced in Lexington, I raced him with no shoes and he won. Um, he he was no more impressive than uh, than he had, than he had been. But last week was the most impressive he'd been. But that was just you know looking for that extra edge. Yeah, and so that's the first time we put the four aluminums on him rather than just the two. You know this horse so well. Talk about the move to the front at the half. It looked like he was working a little bit to clear, but once he got to the lead, uh, the end result never seemed to be in doubt. No, I just I just watched it from outside, and when the other horse was so far back, I sort of thought, well, you know, I. I could see why try, uh, Todd would try and steal it there. Um, you know, and after last week, I wasn't nervous about him being in front. You know, I haven't, uh, the last few months, he's been a little suspect in front, but now back on Lasix, it doesn't seem to be a problem. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you.
We'll bring in Joe Sprocco, a part of the ownership group. Uh, how does it feel? Oh, it's so much fun to have all these guys. I mean, we talk all the time about it. And Noel and Todd just know this horse. They did such a great job for us. And uh, the other part is that uh, we put the same ownership and the horse to finish second, I did it my way. And I'm a breeder on that one too. So it was so thrilling to have that. It just, I, I can't explain it, but uh, the, the guys, the partners, it makes it fun. Uh, and a little bit about that partnership. Uh, you you uh, sort of lifelong friends, or, or how did it come about? Most of us are. We're good friends. Uh, I know uh, James Kaler and his dad, Jim, and I have been partners in many, many, many horses for 40 years. So a uh, dream came true, and uh, we're so happy. And enjoying your trips to Canada, no doubt. I love it here. <laughs> Can't wait to get across the border. <laughs> Congratulations, Joe, and to the entire ownership group. As Pebble Beach, uh, he has been kind of the king of Canada this year, Pepsi North America Cup winner earlier in the year, and now a Breeders' Crown champion.